given the task of creating an obstacle sensing robot, the eight of us gathered together to achieve this task. Coming from the Computer Engineering and Computer Science degree program, it was the first time that we were working together. We identified the four components that were needed to build the robot and split our team into sub four sub-teams. For the Arduino team, which consists of Joshua and Tu, they were in charge of the robot construction. Tzu Siang and Hang are in the PC algorithm team, which is the brain of the robot. The Android team, which was the controller of the robot, Susan and Lin Guan was chosen. Myself and Tzu will be in charge of the Raspberry Pi, which controls the communication between the other components. The Raspberry Pi had to regulate and control the flow of information between the different components, such as the Android, PC and Arduino. The PC is an important and vital role as it brief lives into our robot. Using the stick to the wall algorithm proved to be successful when we were placed third in the leaderboard as of week 11 challenge with a record of 28 seconds. The Arduino focus was on the robot movement. He had to ensure that its movement was precise. The Nexus 7 was used for the Android application of the robot. The Android team had to be able to control the robot manually and also allow the robot to transverse automatically by pressing the start button. The communication flow for the sensing robot are On startup, the Raspberry Pi will connect to the PC, Android and Arduino. Only when all the connection has been established, will we continue to the next phase of action. The Raspberry Pi will read the instruction from Android and only when the button is pressed will the robot begin its journey. Whenever the robot detects an obstacle, the robot will update the Raspberry Pi of distance traveled and the direction it traveled in. Raspberry Pi will then pass this information to the PC and the PC will update its own map. At the same time, it will send this map coordinate to the Android to have the Android update its own map. The PC will then track the robot if it's within the go zone, and if it is, it will tell the robot to stop. Else, it will tell the robot to continue to move. The robot will only listen to Android again after an emergency stop has been pressed, or if it has stopped within the go zone. So, how are the individual components built to achieve this result, you ask?
engaging. Fascinating. Uh, impressive. Freshy is good. Intriguing. Literally rock. Yeah. Alright, team 13, you have done very well. <laughs>